Tony Gallimore. Leicester. Smith. Logan on his own in the box. And they've won the first corner of the game in the sixth minute. Yes, yeah, little fella, Dave Smith will always try and go on his left-hand side. Just trying to get the byline, get the ball across. A good even start to this match. Smith's cross, Gross was trying to reach it, this is Burnett! And cleared by Frayne. One or two signs of edginess there. Burnett's shot was actually deflected by his own player, Jack Lester, and Frayne not prepared to let it go back to Woodman clear. Burnett, Grimsby here feel that they have Northampton rattle. McDermott. Burnett this time playing it in and Groves with the shot. Yeah, not bad from Burnett there. Good understanding. Groves was a man who got in the, just on the edge of the box. But it all started with good play from Burnett. Just whipped it in, try to find his central midfield partner. Groves gets the strike away, but that's not gonna it's not gonna trouble Woodman. High and wide. A good spell for Grimsby, especially down this right-hand side with McDermott, McDermott and Burnett linking well. Donovan. Here's Leicester. Good play from him, teasing Frayne. And he's won it back from... Samson. Well, he's only a youngster, Jack Lester, but already in this match, seven minutes gone, he's, had, he's seen plenty of the ball, backing into the centre-half, holding up well, this time getting wide. Selling Frayne a little dummy here, but it's a good challenge from Warburton coming over. And referee Telly Hebron feeling, well, feeling it was a handball there, the right hand striking the ball. Jack Lester, who was so disappointed at missing out on the auto windscreen shield final through suspension that he didn't even travel with the team. Lever. It's Hunt. Hex. Burnett, the playmaker, has given it away to Freeston. Clarkson. Picking out John Gale. Freestone! Uh, big chance, Rob. Big chance. Freestone on his right foot. It just didn't fall for him. And John Gale made a lovely run through the middle. Picked out beautifully by Hunt. Just doesn't take it quite correct on the chest. Grimsby have got centre half back there. And Freestone snatches at it with the right foot. Gale causes a problem with his presence. Grimsby scrambling back, and Freestone, I feel, could have done a little bit better. Freestone there, benefiting from the work of his strike partner, John Gale. And when Grimsby conceded the opening goal here in their final of five weeks ago, it was the presence of big Steve Fletcher of Bournemouth that unsettled them. Work from Heggs, cut out by McDermott. Yeah, it's a good front three, I think. Heggs wide in the left. McDermott's going to have to keep an eye on him. He's full of tricks. But the presence, the target man Gale, and the pace of Freestone can cause Grimsby big problems. Frayne having to do a, a retrieval job after that ball from Chris Freestone. Well, is he dreaming of last season? That last minute gas left foot strike. Can he do it again? He scored two goals since, as John Frayne, and one of them was another free kick. McDermott. I think the game is, is going to plan. I think Grimsley like to knock it about, Rob, down on the deck. But as Northampton are robust, every challenge, the firing in there, then get it forward. Northampton seeking their second successive promotion via the playoffs. Only Notts County have done it before. And they did it at the start of this decade. And they did it with eight of their players from the previous year. Northampton starting with seven who played last season. This is what I want. I worry about Grimsby, Rob. Set pieces. 
Samson in there, so too is Dean Peer and Freeston here looking to get in behind Gallimore. But Aidan Davison is also worried about Northampton's set pieces. He's been making that patently clear this week. Yeah, I think Lever and Handy Said have got a big job in their hands. Aerial battles. When, to, when Northampton send the big boys in there alongside Gale. It's important they don't give free, silly free kicks anywhere around the box. Leicester. Donovan. Gally Moore. Smith. Nogan free kick given against Ian Samson for the challenge on Nogan I think it was a fair I think it was a fair decision as well I think Nogan was just spinning Samson there this is Donovan who scored in both of the league fixtures against Northampton this season he's looking for a free kick but Terry Hilborn waves play on Samson Clarkson Handy side. Hill. Gallimore. Mark Lever. I think Ian's quite happy that he's not to say when Grimsby have it, okay, just let's get behind the ball in numbers, let them knock it about, as long as it's not around their 18-yard box. McDermott there was trying to clear Colin Hill, but Hill, a very experienced player. I'll tell you what, Robbie just reached it as well, didn't he? There's good movement up front for Grimsby, I do like Nogan and the youngster Leicester, they're moving good crossover runs. The old collision there. John Gale offers his apologies. And I'm not sure Wayne Burnett's accepting them either. <laughs> Terry Hilgron's not too happy. I think he lands on them pretty hard. Up he goes, you can see the oh, there's an elbow there, right arm, the old forearm smash in the back of Burnett's head. And I'm afraid you can't get away with that. It amazes me when they can't believe it, you know. He must be joking, ref. You know, that was a... Uh, it was blatant, was it? Forearm smash to the back of the head. Well, Burnett, Burnett uh, might be uh, shaken, but not too stirred. Grimsby had a bit of a scare coming into uh, this game when, uh, after the second leg of their playoff semi-final, John McDermott collapsed at the training ground with the effects of delayed concussion. But Wayne Barrett, who was just on the receiving end, they read the flu. The last final was here, you know, they ought to win the screen and scored the winner, so... Gale again charging in, this time on Gallimore. Yeah, Gale's fired up, isn't he? Remember last season, uh, last year's playoff, when he was having to go up, maybe Christian Edwards in the tunnel. And then was a bit disappointing during the game. Edwards, I thought, played him extremely well. He's certainly fired up this afternoon. Former Wimbledon player. And uh, in many ways, if Northampton do continue their progress from last season, you wonder if they could start to be the second Wimbledon and go all the way to the Premiership. What they've achieved so far has been done on very limited resources and playing to the strengths of those available. It's going to be a good battle there, the two number sixes, I think. Burnett for Grimsby and Hunt for Northampton. Here's Handy side. Gallimore. Cleared by Warburton. I always think, Rob, you know, playoff finals, first goal is so important. Logan. Here's Smith. Donovan's in the box. Good, good defensive play there from Warburton. Read it, the cutback was coming. Good positional sense. Handy side. Is he going to line up one? He has! 
Well, he's only ever scored one goal in his career, but he thought it was worth a pot shot. Well, honestly, I, I just felt that handy size. Watch the time he's got here. Pierre goes to him, then he's looking for Hunt to come and close. They don't close. Handy says, right, I'll let fly. And that's not too far over. Big centre-half coming forward. Can't believe his luck. Let's go with the right foot. And just a whisper over the crossbar. Well, the only goal that he scored was in a defeat at Tranmere in August of last season. Yet to get off the mark in this campaign. Very well rated, Handy said. Had his fair share of injuries. A few caps, Scotland under 21. Looks as if he's back on song. Hill. Here's Hex. Yeah, Hex is he's a, he's a sort of drifter from Northampton. He's the one who can go try down the left hand side, now over on the right flank. These are the free kicks I was talking about, Rob. Unnecessary free kicks, and suddenly Northampton, the cobbler, send in the big boys. The Hex was going nowhere here, and suddenly a dangerous ball in the box. Frames free kick winner here last season was direct. At this time, he'll be looking for a direct target. Gale is in there, so too is Hex, so too is Samson. Warburton has come forward from the back as well. taken by Frain uh, good goalkeeping on the six yard line Aidan Davison okay we're in trouble I'll get us out of it a little bit close to the keeper from Frain but good goalie coming in amongst bodies Burnett there's McDermott And it's slipped through here, chance for Donovan! One on one with the goalkeeper, and he's done it! For the third time this season, Kevin Donovan scores against Northampton, but not on a stage previously as big as this. Woodman is beaten, and Grimsby draw first blood. Well, how does Donovan get in here? Look how he drifts in. Takes his time, bit of experience, and slots it in past Andy Woodman. What a start for Grimsby. Just comes in off the right wing, suddenly finds himself inside left position, and tucks away with the right foot. A shell shot, Northampton defence, Woodman on the ground, scrambling, can do nothing. And the favourites go one up. Good experience from Donovan, his third goal against Northampton and his side goal one up, Alan Buckley get in there, my man's done it again. Well Alan Buckley was a spectator here when Kevin Donovan scored for West Brom in the 3-0 playoff victory over Port Vale. He later went on to manage him at West Brom, took him with him from the Hawthorns to Blundell Park and what a wise decision that looks now. He's their top scorer this season, that's his 21st, but has it given them the key to the door of the first division? Well, I think he just took up a fantastic position. No one was picking him up. Samson and Hill were over that side. They couldn't believe it. Suddenly Donovan gets clean through on goal. That's what we wanted, Rob, an early goal. Now Northampton have to come out. Nogan and Northampton who came into this game intending to ruffle a few feathers have had their own ruffled now by Kevin Donovan I think the ball might have initially been Ian Axis saying come on we've got to watch our runners the ball I think initially was meant for the youngster Leicester but when it fell in behind them didn't Donovan seize a chance here's Leicester Burnett up to his right Just thinking back to this uh, divisional final a year ago when it was Crewe against Brentford and uh, Sean Smith scored for the third time against Brentford in that season and that goal was enough to win at Wembley. Yes, fantastic start for Grimsby, look at this, incredible. Grimsby with a possession, you know, like to play the ball to feet whereas Northampton, maybe a little bit direct. Slipped on by Freestone, can Hex get in here? Cleared by Handyside. And Gallimore thought he prevented the corner, and he has.
Pitt. Clarkson's attempted cross. I think there's been good movement up front for Grimsby, I really do. I think Nogan and the little fella Leicester, good intercrossing. The pumpkin have to pass on, and you can't go with it on a pass on. And how Donovan sneaked in there, I'll never know. It's the first time he's really ventured away from the right flank. Now Northampton look to Freestone. Come on, give us your pace and movement. Freestone the target. Clarkson. Cleared by Gallimore. Only to Clarkson now. Plenty of players in the box for him. He can't clear Wayne Burnett. This is Pierre. Releasing Freestone. Yeah, another set piece that Grimsby have to defend against. Pierre's been seeing a lot of the ball, picking up loose passes. He gave Freestone a lot to do there, but he gained the corner. And once again, Frayne with a left foot with pace on it. We'll put it in this Grimsby box. Oh, is that obstruction or what referee? Level on corners, but can they cancel out the opening goal from Donovan with Frayne's corner kick? Davison has prepared himself well for the onslaught. Well, I don't think Ian Ackers will be too happy with that corner. You know, when you're putting people on the, the line in the near post and then he just clutches it easily, the goalkeeper. And straight from the clearance, Leicester's through! Yeah, clear tugging there, there's no doubt about it. Leicester, maybe Young, tugging away, no doubt in my mind, at James Hurt's shirt. Hunt was getting back there in command, but Leicester was putting him under pressure with his pace. But the youngster couldn't get there. Watch this, look, pull, 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 and a clear free kick. Referee Teller, he'll run right up with play, automatically pointing. Not a bad ref, this guy, Rob, keeps telling me off for pronouncing his surname wrong. But it is Hale Brown. Colin Hill looking here for Freestone, and his side with a header away. Freestone, looking for Gale in the box, Gale climbs over Lever. Yeah, Higgs has got to get alongside, when the ball's right hand side, Higgs must get close to this fella. If he gets a little nod down or a touch, Carl Higgs can get on the end of it. Hill, Samson steered it neatly away from Smith, this is Clarkson, Freeston looking for the free kick and getting it. Yeah, I thought Gallimore was a wee bit unlucky there, it was a sort of short ball in the feet of Freeston, I think he, he was entitled to go for that ball. Maybe again just from behind. Once again another free kick Rob. And this time it's Clarkson overseeing it. Warburton up for it, and his side trying to clear. Back in from Hunt, that was Heggs, Freestone going for the spectacular. are certainly working hard at these free kicks look at Warburton, Samson and Gale they were all at the far post and then they split and Grooms are going to have to deal with this all afternoon free zone trying the spectacular but that doesn't worry Davison here's Leicester blocked initially by Warburton and Northampton had enough men back Leicester's looked lively up there, he's obviously disappointed Rob 
to miss out in the auto windscreen, but he's electric this afternoon. Pegs. Wow, I think that's what he called playing for a foul. Pegs has got a bit of skill down the left-hand side, but McDermott and plenty of Grimsby players doubling up on this fella. Look, just gets a touch on it, but he's going nowhere. Here's Frame. And the next clearance goes behind for the corner. And there's pressure from set pieces. And once again, look at the players, Northampton players heading for the goal line. Piers in there, big John Gale's in there. It really is a nightmare for Aidan Davison. Hex is also there inside the six yard box just to add to the confusion. Warburton, the target, got it down. Freestone looking to turn. Yeah, what they're doing is, Rob, as you're right, they're packing the goal line, and Warburton and Samson, they're the two players who split at the far post. Once again, the captain wins the ball, but there's a couple of Grimsley players. In fact, there's no doubt about it, Freestone had another half chance there. That's his uh, third attempt. Just to repeat uh, Dennis Stewart's famous overhead kick goal here in the League Cup final earlier. He just lost his footing at the vital moment there. Here's Jack Lester. McDermott. Grimsby have done well to withstand the pressure that they faced since going a goal up through Kevin Donovan. But there'll be no letter from a very spirited Northampton side. They concentrate a lot in their preparation on positive thinking. And ever since they reached this playoff final, their dressing room walls at the Sixfield Stadium have been plastered with the grounds of first division clubs. And dummy newspaper headlines celebrating a Wembley victory here to try and get the players in the right sort of positive frame of mind. Pierre. Well, since Grimsley have got this opener, Rob, they're really sitting back now. I'm not sure that's a wise, a wise ploy. Northampton growing in confidence now. Ian Atkins, a deep thinker about the game. I don't know why they're shouting. No one can understand them with that deep Brummy accent. <laughs> Let's look at them shaking their heads. I'd be disappointed with the start, but he'd be much more happier now. I think he's midfielder now, beginning to get on top. Hunt. Here's Gale. And the free kick given against him. Gale already shown the yellow card, remember. Yeah, he's got to be careful. I don't know if it was a bit of handball there. He's such a big, big fella, isn't he? Just trust six out his arm there, but then. Uh, I don't know. Lever goes to the ground. Referee says free kick. Maybe a little bit unlucky. Terry Hillborn said before the game that his intention was to let it flow and he's doing that wherever possible. That's yeah, the Grimsby fans you can hear now. Out number 21 easily, but noisy enough. This is the area I think Grimsby are going to lose it, Rob. Central midfield. Clarkson looking to release Freestone. Hesitation behind Handeside, who really had to do his job there because Davison had come off his line. Yeah, I just feel a free stone had somehow wriggled clear and got an early one. And watch the goalkeeper come in here. Handeside's back there waiting for a call. And if somehow free stone could have hooked it in, there was not Hampton players in the box, Gale and, H and Higgs. And again, free stone goes into that packed compartment in the six yard box. Warburton, Samson all waiting at the edge of the area. It's curled in though, and again it's easy pickings for the goalkeeper. Well, Davison just seems to be able to pick his spot. And John Frayne has really got to use the ball better. He's got his two big centre-halves at the far post. Or if he's going to put it near post, it's got to be away from the goalkeeper. Well, Warburton has uh, gone down after an injury in the centre circle. Great ball from Burnett. Decision for Donovan. 
combining with Leicester or attempting to. Yeah, the touch wasn't there, but every time this fella Kevin Donovan gets on the ball, he is such a threat. Lovely comes inside, just runs at the two centre halves. But how did he find himself in this position here? The ball's aimed at Leicester, he lets it run, and suddenly Donovan on it in a flash. The goalkeeper decides the right way, but Donovan's experience, he doesn't rush this. He takes his time, he shows a, throws a dummy, and really Andy Woodman stays on his feet as long as possible, and that's the opener. Well, Kevin Donovan scored for West Brom against Port Vale. They were actually making a return to Wembley, having won the equivalent of what is now the auto windscreen shield. And if Donovan's goal from his one attempt is enough to secure the victory for Grimsby, they'll be the first team to win that trophy and then return and win the playoff final in the same season. Frames kick. Bale's presence again on second Grimsby as Hunt. This is Heggs. Managed to win it from McDermott, but the cross goes to Groves. Freestone in quickly, though. That's Donovan. Challenge late by Frame. Yeah, Donovan quickly to his feet, though, saying, All right, ref, all right. I know it was late. I think John Frame, well, I was going to say, he might, it might escape with just a bit of a rollicking from the ref, but unlucky. There's no doubt it was late. Donovan's on his feet, back on the halfway line, no problem, but it's the lunge and the late challenge merits a yellow card. Warburton, Hanks. The problem that Higgs has got here, McDermott's very close to him, McDermott's pacey, and he has to beat him with skill rather than pace. McDermott's quite happy having leaving the ball to Higgs as long as he's got his back towards the Grimsby goal. No problems when he's facing up using his tricks, could trouble McDermott. Burnett. Here's Groves. And it struck him and come to Smith. Second bite at the cherry, perhaps for Smith. Gallimore. And that was a wasted opportunity, Rob, wasn't it? Smith had all the time in the world there to put the ball in the box. Into <laughs> Hander's side. McDermott. side McDermott, Lever and Leicester have all come through Grimsby's youth scheme. McDermott and Lever established regulars now. We're at the club in Alan Buckley's first spell when they went on to two promotions. Here's Nogan hooking it back towards Groves. Yeah, There's a good shout from Groves there. Just alarming the three centre halves ball watching for Northampton. Again good movement up front with Leicester and Nogan. It's all right having three against two, but you must pass on, you must talk. One by Gale from Gallimore. Freestone. And this is Hex. Northampton being urged on with just over ten minutes of the first half to go. Randy says having a good match for Grimsby. Hunt. Cross from Hedges is in towards John Gale. And Gale. Gale beaten Lever there, but couldn't direct it down to one of his players. Hunt going down right on the edge of the box. Well, obstruction, I think, is a shout here. And this is danger for Grimsby. Just a yard inside the box. It's just luck. Gale again's presence there, Hunt goes in, certainly impeded by Lever. And this could just be John Frayne, with his left peg. It's 
a perfect an angle for a left footer Crane has to be the favourite for a strike here or Hunt there to touch it to him will he place it Rob or is it power? I fancy power and he goes straight for the target and hope for a deflection on route look at the pushing going on in that wall <laughs> Three stones getting pushed, but no doubt you can't back in. Surely it's going to be lined up for John Frayne. It is, and it's cleared by the wall. I was just yeah. thinking with all the pushing going on, though, that uh, when he scored from a free kick last year, it had to be retaken because of encroachment, and there's plenty of movement in that wall. With Sam since he's left, you know, I just wonder if they're going to play at the big centre-half. Warburton goes for Clarkson's throw. Played back in by Clarkson, Freestone looking to get in. Peer, driven back across, the outstretched boot of Warburton just couldn't make contact. Yeah, once again the ball in the danger area, but McDermott made a great challenge there for Grimsby, the little full-back. Just lobbed in, look at McDermott in amongst the bodies there, getting his head to the ball. Eventually coming out, the big fella on the left foot, trying to strike him well wide. But good pressure for Northampton, but Grimsby are defending well, especially this little fella McDermott. Well, the playoff weekend reaches its climax tomorrow at 2 o'clock on Sky Sports 2 with the first division playoff final and a place in the Premiership at stake for either Charlton or Sunderland. Make sure you're with us from 2. Good battle again there with Gale. Northampton fans felt maybe a free kick, but this fella's happy, isn't he, Donovan? Three again, three game, three goals, I should say, in three games against Northampton. One goal has been enough to win the playoff finals the last four times that they've taken place including uh, Friday's victory for Colchester over Torquay is Donovan's goal going to be enough for Grimsby good play from Andy Sides again good football in centre half this fella here's Donovan with Hampton squeezing up looking for the offside which was why Leicester was forced to come so deep And Grimsby are playing this spot on Rob, defending well, getting back in numbers, but going forward they are so dangerous. Burnett. Donovan. Hanks. Foul by Donovan. Yeah, he's a little bit, he's, I think Terry Hilbron's right there, no, no yellow card for me, but Hegg's a little bit slow getting his legs going getting away from people there's no doubt the chance from behind and Donovan catches him I'd like to see him move with the ball quicker Pierre Freeston Managed to stay on side. Good header again though from Lever. Lever knows he's got to battle big John Gale and he's doing really well. Groves. Here's Hex. Very, very tight in that central area, all right through the, down the central channel. Northampton coming back into it, I think, with possession wise, but Grimsby still with the upper hand, and obviously that Donovan goal. 
The recurring theme in the build-up to this match was the clash in styles, and at the moment, Grimsby coping admirably with uh, Northampton's style. So far, Northampton been the danger that we might have expected them to be from their set pieces. I think Lee Van Handy side have defended tremendously well, plus some of the balls in, especially from Frayne, have gone straight into Aidan Davison's hands. Northampton fans way behind Andy Woodman's goal there in the distance. A bit quiet at the moment. Here's Nogan, who once scored the opening goal in a playoff final and yet still finished on the losing side with Reading to Bolton. This is Donovan. Leicester. Donovan's made another good run forward, although he has been tracked by Frame. McDermott. Lever. Yeah, they're keeping the ball well, aren't they, Grimsby? And Donovan, the movement up front, Rob, I'm talking about. Donovan, you know, he's got good movement. Look, one comes short and then threads it in into the second striker. That's good play for me. There's two strikers against three centre-halves, and yet they're still getting the ball to feet. Long clearance from Warburton. Again, Freeston handled comfortably by Peter Handeside. Here's Hex. Northampton perhaps sending an equaliser before half-time. Yeah, a little bit too high. Again, Davison comes out. Hex quickly on the right foot getting in, but good goalkeeping once again. And a little bit of confusion there between Samson and Woodman. Well, I don't know what Samson's thinking about there, because the ball bounces high, all he's got to do is just nod it back to his goalkeeper. Just there, but he lets it run, and all of a sudden, he's in danger. Leicester on at the flash. Grimsby's 68th match of the season. A season that's been full of adventures for them, including uh, cup defeats at Ellen Road, and Anfield but some pretty distinguished scalps along the way they knocked Sheffield Wednesday and Leicester out of the Coca-Cola Cup and Norwich out of the FA Cup but this is the most important game of them all and they're right. leading through Kevin Donovan's goal definitely right Rob you know apart from the good football inside they are gritty determined after the auto windscreen they went right up to Carlisle and won an important league game so it's a nice blend nice mixture that Alan Buckley's side have His handy side. Little down was by Paul Groves. Hex for Northampton. Buckley was soured by his experience at uh, West Brom where he was dismissed after just 18 months in charge but will he be leading Grimsby to the Hawthorns next season in the first division? Yeah, that will seem like 10 years ago now. He likes Wembley, Alan Buckley. Leicester. And it's come off Colin Hill for the corner. I think Ian Atkins will be disappointed with his three centre-halves, Rob. There'll be too much freedom, the likes of Leicester and Nogan. You know, they're making good, they're making quality runs, and they're getting the ball to feet, but really the three centre-halves have to make their minds up. Two mark, one sweep, get closer. Has to be two minutes of stoppage time in this first half, and Kevin Donovan to take the corner. Here's McDermott. Groves up with the header. 
He yeah, keeps sneaking in there, doesn't he, Groves? He's a holding player, gets through a lot of work in the central midfield, but when it's wide, Paul Groves gets in there. Ball to the far post, McDermott, and can't direct it down to one of his players. Paul Groves, whose first Wembley appearance here was with Burton Albion back in the 1987 FA Trophy final, and the Northampton goalkeeper, Andy Woodman, was actually a ball boy here that day. Brain. There's Groves looking for Smith. I think they might look for a little bit more from Dave Smith's second half. He has got pace, good left foot. I haven't seen too much of him. He's done well though getting back defensively. But when he's had a chance to you know, get the ball in quickly on the left foot, let him down a little bit. Well, that's the Grimsby anthem of Sing When We're Fishing that's ringing around Wembley at the moment. The big catch is within their grasp. Samson's throw. And at half time, it's Grimsby who have the advantage thanks to the goal in the 18th minute from Kevin Donovan. Slackness at the back from Northampton who didn't deal with a through ball from Burnett that was intended for Leicester. Donovan nipped into the space and took it round the goalkeeper. And Alan Buckley had just cause to celebrate his team taking a very useful lead. They've managed to withstand the Northampton pressure since. Most of the possession has been with Grimsby anyway. And at half-time at Wembley, it's Grimsby 1, Northampton Town 0.